All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm going to, although honestly, I probably should have set this up before I hit record. There we go. All right, so. So this, um, I'm going to have Captain sit and down here. I'm going to ask him to stay and then I'm going to back up and I'm going to touch my doorknob and just kind of jingle it a little bit. Yes. And treat. Or I can click. I'll do it with a clicker so you guys can see what that looks like. I can't find my doorknob. I'll move him over a little bit so you guys can see a little better. Cap, over here. Down. Stay. So you notice my feet are still facing him. I haven't turned around to open the door like a normal person yet. <laughs> so the progression is really keeping all of my body forward on him. So I'm watching my dog and I'm reaching back, giving an audible signal with the clinking of the doorknob, a little bit of a slam of the door, click and treat. So remember last week I was talking about it's just as important to be able to move to the door and away from your dog as it is to come back to your dog and keep them in position. This is part of that reason. So I don't wanna open the door and let somebody in. I'm gonna let Ace come in here in a few minutes. Um, and when she comes in, I don't want him to think, oh good, the door's open, so that's when I can get up and get away. I want him to stay in position while she enters the room and not jump on her. So I'm going to ask him to stay again. Okay. This time I might turn a little bit. I'm sideways, but my eyes, you can't see because of the camera angle. I'm looking at him and I'm opening it a little more. If your dog is having a hard time with staying in position as I come to him, I might wait on that click until I get right to him. Remember, stay means I am back to you. This is stay right here. It's not stay here-ish, right? But the way that I have conditioned the clicker for my dog is he hears it and he knows he has to stay in position to get the reward. Um, it's something, it's just a technique that I've always done. Lots of other trainers, if you go to another trainer, the way they'll probably use the clicker is a little bit different. It's not until you're back and then you get the treatment means end of exercise. So it depends on how you use the clicker. Neither is wrong, but you might see it like as an end of exercise mark, as opposed to the way I use it, which is I'm back here. Oh, hey, someone's here. Uh-oh, he got up. Down, Yay. stay. Oh, hey, click here and then walk all the way back to him because he knows he doesn't get the goodie if he's out of position. Um, so it really just depends on how you personally define using the clicker. And it's just easier to come all the way back. But I just wanted to explain that in case you happen to see me clicking back there instead of at my dog. <laughs> yeah. um, the other thing to keep in mind too, when did Captain break his position? It, he was fine with me playing with the door, but it was as soon as I said, oh, hey, how are you? That verbal, uh, almost as if somebody was really there. That's when he jumped up. So that's something else that you need to consider proofing. Remember that word proofing is um, making sure that every variable, that you've looked at training through every variable, whether he's in a sit or a down or my back is turned or I'm on him, or the door is opening or closing, or I use my voice to say hi. And then at the very end, I would add the doorbell sound. Once everything else is proofed, I'm not going to start with ding dong, <laughs> because this ding dong will not sit still for that. <laughs> so I have to proof everything else and then do the hardest thing last. Um, and one last thing, and then I'll take questions. Um, 
when I am doing this, I don't have anybody on the other side of the door now. But what I am going to do right now, Ace, I'm going to have you stand out there. What I'm going to do, I'm going to open the door. You're not going to knock or anything until I tell you to, but you're not going to come in. You're just going to stand there, okay? All right. So if you have a second person in your home, you can do this exercise too. I'm going to ask for a stay. Open the door. He sees her. Close. Click. Hmm. Entry. So there's no doorbell. There's no knocking. This is called back chaining. I am doing the last thing first and working my way backward. Now what she's going to do, I'm going to stand closer to the door, stay. Ace, you can give one knock. Good job. Okay, now you can knock. So now I'm closer. You see, he noticed that knock, stay. Good boy. Okay, Ace, this time you can knock again. Stay. Hi, how are you? Hi. So I added a verbal. I acknowledged she's there verbally. Hi, how are you? And she goes, hi. <laughs> I'm going to ask again. This time I'm going to have him sit up on the bed. And when she knocks, then I'm going to invite him down. Right now, he is set up for a stay exercise, right? But he's not just going to be sitting here patiently waiting for UPS to knock, right? <laughs> he's going to be doing his thing. Right. Yeah, come on up. All right, Ace, you can knock. Good boy. Sit. Down. Stay. So the knock puts him into a stay. Hi. Why don't you come in here and sit on the bed? I'm going to close the door. And a big jackpot because that was really hard. <laughs> so let me stop this recording somehow. There we go.